What's good, everybody? Next, I'm back with another episode of how to use that shit. <laughs> uh, if you notice, my boat is still in battle. Nowhere to be seen. Uh, I'll put that clip at the end of this video. The tier 7 British destroyer, the Lightning. It is a hybrid ship. It's got a decent amount of armament and then on top of that uh, you can launch individually so it's a pretty cool ship we got some interesting gameplay for you uh, again I'll have ultra highlight videos at some point these are all informational videos so it might not have some of the craziest things I've ever done in these ships but it'll have a good balance of pros and cons of these ships so you don't just get a ship and you're like oh yeah this thing is the best because it's the no there are some really good things about all these ships and then there are it's the nature of the game you're gonna have to have some type of balance right all right so i've got tearwood on here i've got him at level 14 he's um good for torpedo reload time steering gear and primate chance uh reduction I got Bay and, well, these are like the two mandatory if you're running torpedo boats. Now, I tend to lean towards torpedoes personally. Um, if you were going to run this as a gunboat, I'll show you the other commander. But as a torpedo boat, we got Fragile Threat, um, Subsurface, I actually run Stand or Fall. For the reload time of both your guns and your armament. I, I run it more like a hybrid, I guess. Uh, smoke. You're always going to be running smoke with this ship. It comes with seven smokes. They don't last forever, but you can almost always pop smoke. Run with so the launcher traverse speed. Propulsion, so you can get there quicker. Concealment and torpedo reload. Seven smoke, all right? They last, uh, it, it, it will um, send out smoke for five seconds and then it'll last for 41 seconds and it takes 51 seconds to reload. So I won't have smoke for like 10 to 15 seconds, right? And then I'll be able to pop another smoke. So it's, it's not the longest lasting, but it's a very useful for situations. It has one of the longest lasting sonars. It's three minutes, right? And I get three of those. 14-7, not that high of a hit point situation, um, but high enough that if I take enough damage with that standard, standard fail, the uh, more damage I can take without dying, the faster all my stuff's gonna reload, so that's cool. 5 second reload, 11k range, it's decent, right? And then, uh, firepower. Mind you, this is even with more of a torpedo stealth scenario going. And it still has that type of uh, f shooting capacity. Torpedoes, the reload time, disregard, because uh, that's only if I take zero damage. Every time I take 1% damage, my reload time is going to go down 0.15 percent so that's 0.15 not 15 percent all right anyway so by the time i get to 50 percent health my reload will be down 11.25 percent which means these will reload in 59 seconds if i get to 50 health or 75 i don't know doesn't matter doesn't matter it's still faster uh Ma the damage is decent, 15.5 per torpedo max, right? Torpedoes aren't the fastest with the 66 knots, but they'll get in your face before you realize it with the 1.1, right? And they have 10K range, which is great with the 5.2 because it's almost double my detection range. So that's great. Uh, maneuverability, it's about as fast as a Kagero. They're both about 37, 30, it's not fast but it is maneuverable it can turn fast the thing about this ship and much of the british line is that they are 
um, pretty agile. They'll maintain their speed through turning. So that's, that's different. Um, good concealment, extended sonar, and you can launch individual torpedoes instead of just a full salvo, which gives you more range and options. And there's center line torpedoes, as you can see right there, right? So you can launch off either side. Now, if I was gonna run this as a gunboat, I wouldn't use Tearwit. I'd be using Vian. And Vian has the uh, splash damage reduction, give you some more speed. I'd still be running this uh, stand or fall because it still gives you the higher um, uh, rate of fire, especially if you're in a firefight, it'll start swaying into your favor. I mean, this is useful also. Precision is great. I mean, either way, I mean, the, the ship itself is pretty accurate. I haven't had a lot of trouble. Uh, usually it's just user error because <laughs> uh, I know for sure. I'm not the best gunboat player. Um, then we have sidestep, which increases your range and makes it harder for you to be hit. Uh, which, if you think about it, that's plus three. With this guy, his incoming fire dispersion is already at plus 2.6. So they're already having a hard time landing shots on this ship anyway. I've got um, higher precision and higher HE damage running. All right, so <clears throat> if I were to run this as a gunboat purely, like knowing I'm gonna purely do this as a gunboat, then I'd have those, I'd have VN on here. I would still keep this because it increases, I mean, it reduces your dispersion on your gun. I would still keep this because you still need to be able to get where you're going quickly. I would still keep this because the in incoming fire dispersion is useful. Because if you're going to be in gunfights, if they can't hit you, this isn't even about concealing on this situation. People are going to know where you are, uh, but you're going to always be able to pop smoke. All right. And then I would switch to more likely this uh, because I, it's already 5%. I mean five second reload so take another 10 percent off that we're looking at 4.5 and so that's that's phenomenal right 4.5 and it has a great accuracy um, I mean the range the range is already decent I got a 11.8 right I don't need any more range Mind you, look at that, it, the reload is actually 4.5 with this setup. So that would take it down to 4.1 on the reload. Or actually 4 or 3.9 because it's 12%. Anyway, extremely low. Um, and even if the turn time for your guns, was the traverse was a little bit higher, that's nothing. That's seriously nothing. These guns are are, are um, substantial. Also, um, look at that. See, your reload time goes to poop, though. Switch. This is not the most torpedo friendly situation. I mean, it's still 1.3 range. I mean, 1.3 detection and uh, 62 knots. So it's slower, and they can spot them a little bit sooner, and it takes longer to to fire them. But the same damage. All right, less maneuverable, but higher speed. So 39 versus the 37, um, 4.3 versus the, I think it was 3.7 or something like that. Concealment significantly higher. It's like 0.7 higher. So instead of being 5.2, it's 5.9. But mind you, this ship, when it's set up for hunting destroyers, it doesn't matter if they spot you. They don't want to be in a gunfight with you. They can't pop smoke. You have sonar. They can't run away from you. You have a decent enough amount of speed to follow them. And 
they don't really like a true destroy like a true torpedo boat usually doesn't have the best artillery you know you have to make a choice um so some things like subsurface venture are gonna have uh things that make you see your reload time for your guns are lower but your torpedoes are all this other extra stuff so that's your trade-off if you pick this you're not getting into these gunfights and being the happy camper your range is lower if you're using this see what i mean so and if you're trying to be the fastest your dis your precision is down see so you have to make these choices uh this boat in particular doesn't have an engine boost so this is useless um and engine repair i mean this is useful um but i feel this is a little bit more useful because i can just always pop smoke um, if my engine gets knocked out for some reason, just pop smoke. And, you know, I have sonar going. If I get rushed, I could still kind of dodge torpedoes. But anyway, this is not about the commanders. But this gives you an idea. This is a hybrid ship. So you have to consider how, want to, which way are you going to leverage your, your boat? Personally, I still, I'll lean towards the torpedoes, but still have it so that it's a significant gunboat if needed. So that's the option. All right, so we've got Trident capture the base. This particular round is a pretty well-rounded uh, picture of what this ship can do. It's... Um, two destroyers on this uh, on my team and against us the teams look balanced two of two destroyers two cruisers and then everybody else's battleship yep uh, and look at that a lightning and a Fletcher on both teams all right so first thing I got to figure out is where they are uh, so at least the battleship the hipper all right so trying to figure out where my team's gonna go and how now look we got smoke being popped the Bismarck can't pop smoke so there's definitely a destroyer over there now depending on how long that smoke goes I'll know if it's the Fletcher or the lightning smoke is still going odds are that's the Fletcher over there cuz that's 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 lasting for a while like it's it's he's 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 pop smoke for a while yep there he is Fletcher all right so he's spotted I'm still invisible all right so again mind you I'm still set up primarily as a torpedo ship right now but my guns I didn't do anything to really damage them too much in the in my build so right now Got torpedoes where he was going, but also knocked out his engine, I think. Got him on fire. Nah, I didn't shoot. I thought I I thought I was gonna hit him with a torpedo, to be honest with you. But uh nope. <laughs> he he was able to dodge that. So so that's why I started shooting again, but I can't believe he, he actually dodged that one. But that's cool. Uh, what else we got going? I'm just trying to finish this guy off. Because his engines are working. I don't know why he didn't just, like, drive away. But I guess he, he figured he was going to have a shootout. I, I don't know what he was thinking. So now it's off to this Bismarck. He's, um... He's just moving like he doesn't, he's got no care in the world. Like, he's just going straight. At a, but it seems like he might turn, so I started sending some torpedoes for the uh, the in case. And just that quick, he, he started to slow down. So now, I'm trying to determine if I want to pop smoke or just start, um, or just let these torpedoes kind of do what they do. 
Because usually, like almost anything you do can have a reaction for the other team, but I didn't think any of those were really going to hit him, so I just popped my smoke and, and started firing. Now, don't mind my accuracy. I'll tell you right now, I told you, I am not the best gunboat player. However, if you can shoot, you would have been hitting a lot more of these shots than me. And bravo, I don't feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad about it. Um, but that gives you an idea. You see how accurate this is, even without being built as a gunboat. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now, let's see. Cool. So we got two. Um, still almost full health. All right. And still just kind of getting the lay of the land, trying to see where how my team is doing. They seem to have not just like died immediately, so that's always a good start. The other team is what are they doing? So they're kind of spread out a little bit, but so we got the lightning over here now. All right. See, I held my shot. I thought I, I thought I had killed him. That's so funny. I held my shot because I thought I, you know, that's hilarious. So someone else got the last hit, but <laughs> it's just funny because I literally stopped shooting because I was like, yeah, I got him. So I'm telling you, these it's not about like best game ever. I'm all about the win, all right? So this right here gives you a good idea of how this ship is able to maneuver. I'm getting from point A to point B pretty decent. It maintains its speed pretty well. The um, the next scenario, I got 11.1 range on my guns, but none of these shots are advantageous, like for for being a, dis a destroyer anyway. So I could shoot the hipper, but it's it's just, it's a cruiser. I don't really want its attention anyway. So I'm trying to get this Iowa to get a couple of torpedoes in on this Iowa. But I don't know if he's moving forward, back. I don't know what he's doing. He's just he's just kind of sitting there. And so now I'm just scanning to see what the other people on the team are doing. So I sent him the last of the torpedoes I had. See if we get a winner. So now, perfect gunboat scenario, I'm completely unspotted, and the uh, battleship just has to sit there and take a couple shots, I'm completely invisible. And one of the torpedoes connected, awesome. So now, going right back into destroyer mode, trying to spot these the enemy team and see if we can just keep this momentum going. I'm like, right now I'm thinking I got two more kills to Kraken. See, see if we can get this uh, this Kraken going. It'll be like the lowest damage Kraken I've got in the history <laughs> of this game. So... Again, I, I had an opportunity to shoot the Iowa, but I still don't know where the other two ships are. So I'm not in a rush to give away my position. So that's just me. You know, the other ships could be literally on the right around the corner. Now, I see this, um, this plane is flying. So it's got me wondering what ship it's that plane is associated with because the planes first off I'm trying not to get spotted by it but at the same time it's one of those things like a plane means a ship is over there usually you know so and the only boat that's not spotted is a cruiser right now so I definitely don't want that ship to just s surprise me alright so the plane finally 
I guess that's a return. So now it's time to continue searching for that uh, that cruiser, trying to light up the rest of the team so we can either try to get this cracking or cap this point. Either way, right now I'm I'm heading towards capping the base because look at that guy. He's driving off into the deep blue sea. Like who's he's going out? He's by the time my torpedo reaches him, he'd be at what that says like 18 kilometers away. Or like please, it's too much. So he's just driving off into the sunset. Um, I'm still just trying to find this cruiser. All right, so I've seen a lot of people send torpedoes just because the icon is white. Like you can tell they did it that way because the the end target right there is through the mountain. You know, it's through the island. There's no point in shooting a torpedo at the island. It's not <laughs> like I've done it, but it's usually when my internet skips and uh, and those will be those those will be just frustration moments. All right, so we found the Indianapolis. Now I'm not firing because I also don't want to spook him in case he wants to take a torpedo, but he didn't. So now it's time to shoot him. That's the benefit of being like this hybrid ship scenario because I could just as easily torpedo, send a torpedo as I can fire. And it's just as comfortable doing either. Um, especially considering I haven't put anything special into my guns. Like, so you can only imagine how much better that would be if it was a torpedo scenario. Now I was just la I was just talking about shooting the island with torpedoes. Those torpedoes are gonna hit that island. You know, it's hilarious because it it's just funny how things happen. I'll be the first one to laugh at myself though. I can laugh too. I don't care. So uh, let's see. So. Maybe it w well, yeah. I don't. I don't know. There's a good chance those are gonna hit the island, though. Like after I shot them, they're just kind of. Yep. So one hit the island. Two hit the island. Yeah, that's hilarious. But if he was poking out, he would have got that, that that third one. But he was going backwards instead of actually coming towards us. I was just operation get some damage because I think the other ship they have is still driving out to sea and uh, now I have nothing better to do I just start alternating between each I tried the AP to see if I could do something to their guns or whatever I was like ah whatever but overall it's a fun ship it's fast it lets you get in uh, into a few different scenarios that you might not be able to in some other ships because it it has a lot of s smoke but it also has some decent torpedoes it has this really good sonar and it's just it's just its own like it's it's one of those ships that uh, can easily what are you guys doing ah they kissed so that was an okay round like that that my thing is I got the win that's all I care about right so I stay at 50 I have a 54 percent win rate in in the game period um, so that sh that that gives you an idea of like all the, the the ins and outs of what that ship can do is decent concealment it can get right in sun, right in people's faces highly maneuverable um, and this is the clip I promised you guys. So, this round I've got three destroyers. We got a Jervis, Kagero, and a Fletcher. So, 
The Jervis is a hybrid. Kagero is usually a really strong torpedo boat. And then the Fletcher is one of the... It's just the tier 7 American destroyer. And it's a, it's a real gunboat. Like that thing can be a problem. So not one of those ships I'm looking forward to running into. Except maybe the Jervis. I'm not afraid of the Jervis in the Lightning. But I have, you have to be really... You have to respect those other two boats, especially uh, when you're in this uh, lightning. So I'm trying to figure out who I can line up on. I got this Colorado, um, but I know there are a couple of destroyers around. So I'll pop my sonar before I get to this opening here. Um, and I'm like, all right, I still, I still can get some shots in on the Gene Bart. So I'm lining up for that guy. And, uh, oh, look, we got the Fletchers. And I turn to try to do some evasive maneuver torpedoes to this guy. And boom, I'm at the island. Well, um, so now I'm just, I just realized that I'm shooting AP at this guy. So I switched. Now, those two or three salvos I've hit them with would have been so much more impactful if I actually had my HE on. Now, this makes no sense. The Fletcher rushing a, a Lightning is is a really strange play. But as he was doing it, it made me think, oh, it's these challenges. He's trying to torpedo me. But I don't, I don't get torpedoed easy. No. Yo, so I hope you guys got something out of that. This video was a little bit longer, but it's a hybrid ship. I mean, there's so much more to building it in a strong way. So definitely like subscribe and there's always more to come